guys, welcome back to another episode in the Scratch series. From now on, these episodes will become a bit more challenging, but if you have any questions or generally just need some help, you can always post it in the comments below and I'll respond to them ASAP. Also, the project I do in this video and future videos will be linked in the description, so go ahead and check it out. Alright, let's get into today's video. So today we're going to be looking at pen and what it does. Pen is a scratch extension that allows your sprites to basically draw. To get it, click on this button and then click on pen. And now there should be a new section in the column called pen. Right now there's only one block because we're not in a sprite. So I'm going to grab a sprite, make it a circle, and then go back. Now there's like much more blocks. For an example, let's make this sprite draw. First, drag a when green flag clicked block, and then drag go to, I'm gonna zoom in, go to x, zero, y, zero. So that makes the sprite go to the middle. Now we want a pen down block, and what this does is it allows your sprite to start drawing. Pretend you're holding a pen and you're drawing on a piece of paper. When your pen is down, you're able to draw. But when your pen is up, you can't draw because you're just waving the pen in the air. Your pe the pen is not actually on the paper. And that's basically what pen down and pen up is. Also, erase all is another crucial block because pretend your sprite drew a line. And then when you play the game again, the line will actually still be there. We, we don't want that. So we want to erase all so that all past drawings will not show. Drag and erase all block right here, and that should erase all past drawings. There's also customizations like pen color and pen size. And this is just for the pen color. I can make it yellow. Pen size is just the thickness of your line. Now to draw, we just simply move our character. And now you can see the character moved to this coordinate. And it also left behind a trail of yellow, which is thickness 5. This is pretty boring right now. So how do we spice things up? Well, we can make sort of like a game or a test or a project where the player is able to grapple onto walls. At first thought, that may sound pretty difficult. But with pen, it's actually pretty easy. First thing, we want to delete all of this and leave these three blocks. Now we want to name this character and then create a new sprite called hook. I'm going to make it a simple triangle. So what hook is, is it's basically the hook of the grappling hook, like the thing that shoots out when you shoot a grappling hook. Make it a triangle and then fill it with gray. Not the best drawing, but it'll do. And then name this hook. And yeah. Now we have our hook, we want to hide it at the beginning because we don't want it to show when the player is in game. Now we want the player to press F to activate the grappling hook, and that's just a random key. You can make it any key, but I think F is a good key for activation. And when the player presses F, the grappling hook will suddenly like activate and the player will be able to choose which direction they want to grapple towards. And when they click, the grappling hook will suddenly shoot out and draw a rope in the process. And then the player will be pulled towards the hook. When F key pressed, and then repeat until, mouse down. This will run until the player clicks. And before the player clicks, we want the player to point towards the mouse pointer. Let's test this. So nothing's happening. And then when I press F, the player is pointing towards my mouse. Right now, it's not that obvious because we don't have an arrow. So let me just go do that. Arrow, maybe make it black, like that. Now we can tell the direction of our player. So when I press F, the player points towards the mouse pointer. All right, this is good progress. 
but when I click, nothing happens because we haven't programmed our hook yet. When the player clicks, we want to send an event to the hook telling it that the player clicked. So I'm going to make a new message called clicked. Oops. Clicked. And then go to hook. When I receive clicked, then we want the hook to first of all show. Show. And then we want the hook to go to the player character. And then we want the hook to point in the direction of the player or point in the direction, direction of the player. So go to sensing and then drag this character direction. So when I receive clicked, show, go to character, point in direction, direction of character. Now if we test this and I press F and then I click, you can see that the hook not only went to the player, it also pointed in the direction of the player or point in the direction which the direct okay I can't say that. it basically points in the direction of where the player is pointing to and now this is perfectly set up for us to move the hook forward go to control drag a repeat until block and then drag a touching edge block now we want to move our hook forward so move maybe 15 steps forward. Let's play and press F and then click. Now the hook is able to shoot out and when it hits an edge, it'll stop. But most grappling hooks have ropes, right? To implement one into our project, we want the hook to draw a rope while it's moving. As we learned before, we go to pen and then pen down and also make sure you drag and erase all block in both of these blocks because we don't we want we don't want previous ropes to show now we can set our pen color to maybe brown because that's the color of rope like that um yeah that's good and also we can set our pen size to a bit thicker let's test this so f and then click and you can see previous lines showed. And that's because our erase all was before our pen down. We actually want it to be after. So it erases like the player moving back. Click. Oh, okay, it still didn't work. Let me see what's going on. Um maybe here. And debug a little bit. Hmm, still not working. Um, erase all. Oh yeah, okay. So we have to make it erase all after going to character. Because when the hook is like here and then it goes back to the character, it'll draw a line. And we don't want that. Now if we press F and then click, and you can see the previous line is deleted. But our player is still not being pulled up. To do that, we have to broadcast another message, maybe called hit to tell the player that our grapple successfully hit a wall and that our character is able to be pulled up now. And then go to character, drag when receive hit. And from here, we want to move the character toward the hook until it hits the hook. So repeat until, touching hook, move 10 steps. Once it touches the hook, we want it to stop. And also in the meanwhile, while the character is moving towards the hook, we want this rope to be erased because we don't want the rope to be like still there, right? And we're gonna put a pen down block here and then an erase all block here. And now we can set our pen color to the color of the background, which is white and make that and then also set our pen size to be thicker than the hooks pen size because we want to cover the whole rope let's test this and that was pretty fast let me see F. okay
Okay, yeah, so this is erasing everything, so I don't think we should have that. We don't want the rope to be erased immediately. And now you can see our player is erasing the rope while going towards the hook. We can even hook in different directions like here, here, but you can see there's a bug. While I'm hooking, I'm able to hook in other directions, which causes a major glitch. To fix that, we have to make a variable called while grappling. And what this tells us is if our player is currently grappling in a direction. At the beginning, while grappling will be false. And then when we start grappling, which is here, we want it to be true. And then when we stop grappling, which is here, we want while grappling to be set back to false. Now we want an if um, block. And then inside it, we want equals, and then while grappling, and then false. What this tells us is if the F key is pressed and while grappling is false, then we're able to grapple. But if we're grappling, you're not allowed to grapple to another direction. So let's play F and then here. And you can see I'm spamming F right now, but I'm not able to grapple to another direction while I'm grappling. Okay, that's basically grappling hook. If you want to add something extra, you can always make another sprite called obstacle and then make it maybe a box or like a rectangle and then go to hook code add a or block over here over here drag this here and then right click duplicate and then drag it here and then obstacle so now the hook will stop if it's either touching the edge or touching the obstacle let's try this so i can hook to the edge and i can hook to my obstacle like this you can see i can hook to all sides of the obstacle all right that's it for this video thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you have any questions or need some help please post a comment and yeah i'll see you next time bye